Good morning students. Today we will know about the chapter Observing the Sky. Children, do you know the origin of our universe? The universe originated billions of years ago in a rapid expansion from a single point of nearly infinite energy density and this theory is known as Big Bang Theory. Now children, in our universe there are many celestial bodies. Do you know what are celestial bodies? Celestial bodies or heavenly bodies are objects in space such as the sun, moon, planets, stars, etc. Now children, as we know that there are a very large number of stars in the sky. What is a star? A star is any massive self-luminous celestial body of gas that shines by radiation derived from its internal energy sources. These are huge spheres of very hot gases having light of their own. Stars vary in size, brightness, temperature and color. Children, as we know that our sun, which is the only star in our solar system, shines with a yellowish white light. But all the stars are not yellowish white. The hottest star shines with a whitish blue light. As we know, stars appear as dim points in the night sky, which is due to their very large distances from us. They do not disappear during daytime. They are present there in the sky all the time. However, they are not visible during the daytime due to sun's brightness. Children, now see this light as you know that we can see some planets like Mercury and Venus during early morning and evening hours and thus they are known as morning and evening stars. They are seen very low near the horizon. Venus is not the only planet we see in this night sky. Mars, Jupiter and Saturn are the other planets that can be seen in the night sky even with the unaided eye. The rest of the planets are very faint and can be seen only with the help of powerful telescope. The planet Saturn was the first planet discovered by using a telescope. Now in the next slide children, let's know about constellation. A group of stars that appear to form some recognizable pattern or shape in the sky is known as constellation. Ancient time, this was important for them as they were dependent on these stars to find directions and to measure time. Some of the constellations are Ursa Major, also known as the Great Bear or Big Dipper. Then Ursa Minor or Small Dipper, Cassiopeia, which is visible in autumn. And the 12 constellations of the zodiac are Aries, Taurus, Gemini, Cancer, Leo, Virgo, Libra, Scorpius, Sagittarius, Capricornus, Aquarius and Pisces. So children, just see the slide where you can see the various constellations of the zodiac. And these are probably familiar to you through astrology. So children, do you know that the earth revolves around the sun? And along with this revolution around the sun, the earth also rotates about its own axis. These two motions of the earth cause the same star to appear to rise four minutes earlier every day. And also we can see that the whole different set of stars in the sky after every six months. This is because the earth revolves around the sun and in six months time moves to the other side of the sun. Now in the 
next slide let's know about the pole star or dhruv tara which is a special star present in the northern hemisphere this star unlike other stars appear to remain fixed at one place the pole star is the star that is known to retain its position in the sky always we can locate the position of the pole star with the help of the constellation saptrishi if an imaginary line is drawn joining the pointer stars of the saptrishi and extended further it will point to the pole star as we know this star appears to remain fixed at one place because it lies along the axis of rotation of the earth and because of this special feature the star has been useful to travelers is as it defines the north direction so children as in this chapter we had a descriptive study about the stars and the planets so now let's just recapitulate and know the key differences between stars and planets first the astronomical bodies that release their own light produced due to thermonuclear fusion occurring at its core is known as stars whereas the celestial object that has a fixed path called orbit in which it moves around the star are known as planets second point stars have their own light and are known as luminous bodies whereas planets do not have their own light they reflect the sunlight that falls on the planets third stars move in their own separate orbits with a high speed but due to considerable distance their motion can be seen after a very long time on the other hand the position of planets tends to change as they move around the sun fourth point the size of the stars is comparatively larger than the planets fifth the shape of star is like a dot as against this the shape of the planet is spherical sixth the temperature of a star is very high while that of a planet is low seventh there is only one star in the solar system and millions of stars in the galaxy so they are uncountable on the contrary there are total eight planets in our solar system eighth point stars appear to twinkle due to constant refraction of light in earth's atmosphere in contrast planets are a bit closer to the earth and light reflected from them passes directly through the earth's atmosphere without any bending and so they do not twinkle ninth stars are made of hydrogen helium and other light elements conversely planets are made up of states of matter such as solid liquid gases or combination of these therefore with the above discussion you might have got the clear understanding on the differences between these two along with the reasons of differences so children i hope you have gained a lot of knowledge with this video so thank you children and have a nice day ahead mm -hmm.